We were wanting to make it up this little thing, but <laughs> well guys, this is my 2007 Toyota Sienna all wheel drive minivan. I just bought her a week ago and that's my fan kicking on and my squeaking belt. So let's replay from the beginning. Okay, so we've chopped up all of this yummy stuff. Now we have olive oil and butter mixing and over, you know, and heating. We have our cheese right there. Okay, I sure probably grabbed a bigger pan. <laughs> it's completely full. Okay, lads. So we are going to go check out the all-wheel drive Toyota Sienna minivan. Yeah. Trying to make it clean. I have to look at the Carfax again to see where it's from. I just wasted twenty dollars on getting an Uber. I'm over here. I really don't care, dude. Well, I'm not going to waste your time. I'll be honest with you. After seeing what's underneath there, I'm not interested. Okay. Well, so, way too I know much she rust. Runs. I know it runs good though, but I don't know about the rust thing. Yeah, the, too much, too much rust under it. Right? Yeah, the entire exhaust system's all rusted out. The lower oh, control yeah. arms are rusted. A little too much for me. <laughs> so, but just Toyota, we're looking for. Huh? Yeah, well, I'm looking for an all-wheel drive um, between 2004 to 2009. But I might be able to use it on. A, come on in, let me give you my card. Uh, I might be able to use it on a Thursday. If you uh, if are trying to buy something that's loco and you need it to be inspected, I can be the person for you. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. But Let me ask you a question. To be done. Would you be willing to do some work for me? That's I got to talk to you about business first, if you don't mind. But I'd like you to do a little something for me. I'm getting ready to make you a proposal. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you, you know what you're talking about. So. Is there something wrong with the safety? If it's, I'm going to fix it. Okay. I'm not going to make the car brand new. But I'm going to fix any and all problems that if there's anything to do with safety, I'll fix that. Now since you're talking about business, I've been wanting to get together my own business, a small one, because Firestone, I've been here so long, I've only been there for two months, but my two months being in Firestone, I know that when they when we have pre vehicle inspections, we don't check them. I'm the only one who actually checks their thing. The other master technicians or the GSs, they don't check. All they look at is the, they look at the tires, they look at the fluids, okay. and that's it. Oh. They're supposed to look at the entire suspension component, the exhaust, all the electrical, the lights. Um, you're supposed to uh, do a test on the charging system. They don't do it. I'm the only one who does that. So. I kind of want to get together my own business on the sideline, and then who knows, maybe it'll grow. But okay. people out there, they think, oh, I paid, you know, twenty bucks for full vehicle inspection. Oh, they say nothing's wrong with this car. They drive it. Now they know that the entire suspension needs to be redone. That's going to cost them three thousand dollars. The only thing I'm worried about. So I'm right. That's why I bet. That's why I bet. I get paid to inspect. Why am I just going to have that set up? You got me a deal on it? Smoke a deal. I do first dozen jobs for free. What? If you can give me a smoking deal on that, I'll do a couple jobs for free. And then we'll get to learn each other. Are you going to need financing? So let's talk about how the 
see in a all-wheel drive system works. Um, just read this real quick. So that's a little bit on how it kind of went down, or it did went down. Um, it turned into us making a business proposal. Um, since then, I've already done five jobs for him and made quite a bit of little cash. So that's pretty nice. I'm liking that a lot. So as you can see, this is the ad that kind of got me to want to go and look at her in person, which was that day. Um, and when I saw the underneath of her, I just really wasn't ready to take care of all the rust and corrosion from both New York and Michigan. But I drove her, and I, I drove her again, I drove her again, and I, I just, I feel, I fell in love. Um, she drove, and she drives really, really, really nice. Okay, yeah, I'm all showered up. We are now going to go get some breakfast. This is on my iPad right now. Um, we are wearing this long sleeve shirt and my work pants that are clean. Alexa, off. Good morning, Riley. Good morning, Jack. I love you guys. Um, so I'm not gonna time lapse me making my food, but I'm gonna have some pretty good ass eggs. So, Yeah, I'm getting so nerve-wracking. I'm picking up my first vehicle today. I mean, I had the motorcycle and I still do, but you know, that's that's a motorcycle. That's not a car or truck or SUV. So this is my first vehicle. I'm financing it through my credit. Um, I'll discuss about the prices later. Um, Oh my God, we have like three minutes now to get on the bus and I'm going to be checking my GoPro, seeing if the battery is charged. Oh my goodness. Um. Anyways, so we gotta get dressed, we're showered, we have food in our stomach. <sighs> GoPro says that she's got a full battery. So let's get going. Mwah. Okay. I have my backpack with everything in there that I need. Um, we are walking to the bus stop and we're gonna get on the bus. It's gonna be an hour long trip on getting there, but we're gonna get there. So bus is coming and we're gonna go pick up our vehicle. Cannot wait to show you what I'm getting. Maybe something like that. Wow, they've done all of that in just one day. I was here last night and none of that was here. Wow. You know, out of all of these vehicles that are going by, I couldn't have any single one of these vehicles if I had the money and the credit. So, which one did I get? Did I get the Subaru? Did I get that Toyota Sienna minivan? Dodge Ram 1500 4x4? Or did I get the Max? I have no clue. We'll okay, see. we're here in Cleveland, Gresham, Oregon, Portland, Oregon. And we're about to get off the Max. This is the last stop. So, um, we're gonna walk a little bit and go get the van. So, let's do it. Okay, so I just got done signing all the paper uh, paperwork. Got the title, temporary title, until I get the real one. Um, and now, Moses' wife is driving me to the other lot. That way I can pick up the keys and get, the, get my vehicle. So, yay. All the paperwork signing went good. No hiccups. So, I'm very impressed. Very glad and thankful. We are almost there. Being so excited. So is your loan done or what? Yep, it is done. I signed the contracts and everything. Oh wow, great. Here it is. 
Wow, right where I left it. I have it right here. Oh, you have it? Yep, it was right here. Oh, I didn't know. Because after when we went to the uh, other store to get the banner, yeah. I, I sat it right here. Oh, okay. Let me just call Moses. Okay. That's my key. I'm gonna go get a full tank of gas. It has a 30 mile range. So I gotta go get gas. There's a gas there, but. Hello? Hey, oh, this is Ryan. I'm sorry. I was trying to call Keith. Okay. That's okay. I'll get them all off. Do what? This one here and on the other side. Okay. You can use that over again. Sweet. All right. This is probably where I'm starting the vehicle or the or shit. That's probably where I'm starting the video, and uh, I'm just gonna be showing you guys just a little sneak peek. So I'm gonna go fastly over the steering wheel. There we go. So what did I get? Pass a comment. Leave a comment, leave a like right now. Hang up or press one for more options. Hey Keith, it's me Dustin. Um, just wanted to call you that I am on my way, unless you want me to go somewhere else. So, anyways, call me when you can. Bye. Okay, we need to put this away. Oh dear. Well, take it off. All right, now we're going to open up the vent. Oh my goodness. This is amazing. Okay. I am now a proud owner of a 2007 a uh, Toyota Sienna all-wheel drive. You heard it. 2007 Toyota Sienna all-wheel drive. Oh my gosh. Like, who knew a 19-year-old man would want to own a Toyota Sienna all-wheel drive minivan? First off, a minivan? Are you serious? I don't have kids. I don't... I don't need a van, you know? There's there's no need for me to have a van, but I just wanted one. And why not? Why does it have to be such a sexist thing to say that you, I can't have one? Like, you, we live in the United States of America. You can own and buy and sell and do whatever you wish to do. I mean, given you can't kill anybody. I mean, oops, my GoPro almost went out of the window. I mean, technically you can kill people, but that just makes you a bad person and you'll go to hell. It's just that simple. I mean, this is the United States. So in theory, a man and a woman, boy and girl, should be able to buy whatever it is that they want to buy. So, this is awesome. First time at McDonald's, I'm ordering something, something small, but it's my celebration for getting this. Oh boy. What did I get? I don't know. 
That car up ahead sounds nice, but not as nice as this. See, told you, not as nice. <laughs> hey, got my first ice cream. Mm. First time filling her up. Oh man. Filling her up with regular. Thank you. We're getting some gas and then we're gonna go to the house and we're gonna take some pictures. Oh, there she went. Really? $54 for 15.528 gallons. Ooh, a Focus RS. I'm gonna ask him if he can go to a double click. Fill her up all the way. Hey, question. You think you can fill her up a little bit more? Like to the second click or something? Yay. Awesome. That's good. Thank you. No problem, awesome, man. Have a good day. Uh, yes, please. Enjoy the day, man. You too, man. Thank you. We've driven 15.8 miles right now. We're gonna reset trip B. Cause we're on a full tank of gas. That's what we've been getting, which I think isn't, I don't think that's what we've really been getting. I'm trying to learn how to reset that, but we will, we'll learn how to reset it eventually. Yeah, we'll learn. Anyways, we have 239 miles. Sweet. Okay, first time driving on Lincoln Avenue. I should probably blimp that out. <laughs> now I am hearing a noise because I have all the windows down. It sounds like uh, the dust shield on the rear calipers are um, something's touching or rubbing. Maybe you'll be able to hear it, but I'm definitely gonna have to get a brake inspection done. I don't know. Anyways, man, this feels so nice. I take the bus up here all the time. Bumps are amazing. We're just gonna cruise up this hill. We're gonna take our time. We're not in a rush. Although I think we have an exhaust leak from the headers. Um, she is from Florida, so there is rust. So the lower and upper control arms, the exhaust, the um, axles, the CV joints, um, air filter, metal area. There's definitely some surface rust, if not maybe a little bit more than surface rust, but she's from Florida and she definitely shows signs that she's from Florida. So it's not her fault. I just gotta take care of her. Until then, I'm gonna keep the mileage low. Yeah, you can hear them right now. The noise goes away once when I tap on the brakes. I don't know, they, the dealer, they did uh, new calipers and rotors in the rear. Um, and I'm hoping they did brake pads as well, but something's wrong. I gotta check it out. Brakes work, it's just the noise. <laughs> I sound like one of the customers coming in for a brake inspection. Oh, this is not good. Oh, this is not good. Oh, uh, a uh, convenience good. store. And I'm gonna show my friends my new vehicle. So we're just gonna stop behind the bus because we gotta make the right anyways. See, I'm already driving like a dad. Oh dear. <laughs> Don't want to ride up against the curb. Alrighty. Well, let's go in and show them. 
Oh my God, guys, look at her. Oh my God, I have a fucking minivan. Like, what the fuck, dude? Oh my God. God, I love you. Hey. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? It's a 07 Toyota Sienna oh, all-wheel Toyota. drive. Okay. Yeah. How much cost is that? Uh, 6,800. 6,800? With 124,000 miles, so that's pretty good. Yeah. They wanted... Oh, you need pan? It's too big for you. <laughs> no. <laughs> for work, yeah. I wanted an all-wheel drive minivan, that way I can go off-roading and oh. bring my friends and go oh, camping. Oh. Yeah, uh, nice. Yeah. 7.6? Do what? How many seats? Seven? Five or seven? Eight. Oh, eight? Yep. Oh. I think. I know it's more than seven. Oh, okay. How are you doing? Yeah, come on. Yes, I'm good. Good. Thank you. Good. So I went to McDonald's already. <laughs> oh boy, that's embarrassing. Oh my gosh. Oh man. I shouldn't probably leave my wallet right there, especially on the GoPro. <sighs> Not a good decision on my part. Uh, I'll get love to get the phone cannon set up and uh properly wash my van because i don't i mean the paint it needs a paint job for sure definitely some buffling and whatnot but in a couple weeks or a month i'm gonna get her professionally detailed because the inside it's um a family definitely drove her and lived in her wrote well, you know a lot of trips so a lot of sticky stuff everywhere no that's not good so but I can't afford it right now. It's not, um, it's, it's, I can't focus on that. What I gotta focus on is the brakes, see why they're making noises. And I need a, I need to see where the exhaust leak's coming from. So, otherwise than that, she's solid. So, thanks for watching. This is a long vlog. It's probably gonna take me a couple of days to edit this. So, whenever this is up, it's up. So I'm going to go take some pictures of her right now and post it all over Facebook. So, bye. Okay. Here's my public announcement. 2007 Toyota Sienna LE all-wheel drive. What can I say? I'm a minivan type of guy. <laughs> the versatility of being able to own one is just amazing so so I don't know this is my ride people I'm going somewhere right now so I figured I'd make a video but we have 124,172 miles and we are getting 19.5 miles per gallon in city and with a full tank of gas we can go 240 miles so <laughs> yay had red robin for dinner my uncle now we're gonna take marine drive home Oh, baby, you look so good.
Good night, Vanessa. I love you. Sweet dreams, baby. Okay? I'm gonna miss you. Who knows, maybe I'll come out and uh, I'll do some deep cleaning inside. We'll see.